Well, probably there's not one factor, but a few that have impacted, um, and certainly not my intention to make excuses because we should be playing better football in the moment than we are. But uh, early on, we had obviously the draft, which took uh, six of our very best players, and and then uh, three of the next um, sort of wave of players in Homburg, Brind, and um, and Aaron Anderson all got long-term injuries and haven't played at all. So there's was that as well and the retirement of Riley Milne was a factor as well that just reduced our depth a little bit um, and then we had some um, a pretty severe interruption to late uh, our late pre-season period just before the trial games we had a, a big spate of injuries that uh, took its toll uh, early in the season when with the players not doing uh, not um, not playing trial games and uh, not being quite ready to go when round one came around and we were a little bit underdone at that stage but having said that, um, you know, that was certainly, that explains there's certainly some, maybe the first three or four games we were, we were still a little bit underdone and under, un, unprepared, under, underprepared. But, uh, you know, since that time, with the players that we've had available, um, you know, we should be playing better footy than we have. We probably got a little bit of a confidence whack early on with, the, with our uh, lack of preparation uh, or, you know, inter- interruptions from injury. But, uh, you know, since then we've uh, started to um, you know get some players back, and uh, and we've you know in the last few weeks without winning, we believe we've shown some signs. Well, the early losses were were by quite big margins. I think we, as I said, we went into the year um, having played uh, quite a number of. Uh, young and inexperienced players in our trial game period, uh, not through design but more through need because of the injuries that we had to our more senior players. And uh, as a result of that, we, we came up against some pretty well prepared sides uh, early in the in the SNFL uh, season uh, when they were really you know, red hot, uh, ready to go after a big pre season, and we were sort of. Um, Stumbling into the year with our with our preparation, but uh, as I said, since then, you know we've uh, started to get our game a little bit better organised, but certainly not to the point where we we're, we're happy with it, and, and not to the point where we've, we've, where we've been able to win games. What we talk, we always talk about improvement, and so our, our game is our, our training is geared around improvement uh, in all areas, our, our fitness. Our skill decision making under pressure, um, our, the, our capacity to apply pressure to the opposition, um, all those things is part of our, our training routine. Uh, we, we, we've been working on consistently um, and we'll continue to work on the development of our players. Uh, we do a Tuesday night session, when I say we, Jason Poplesia and myself uh, work with our, our next crop of or next wave of, of uh, potential league players coming through, and we're trying to fast track them with with the um, skill development um, and sort of basically a game education type uh, training. Um, and we we're ongoing with our commitment to our junior programs in the Riverland, uh, the Roxby, and Mallee, with uh, with um, academy sessions going on there at various times during the year. Um, and we're well down the track with our recruiting for, for, the, for the next next season and beyond. So, um, you know, we're, we're certainly well underway in terms of, you know, what we're doing about it. There's, there's plenty going on in that regard. Um, and we look forward to, you know, sooner than later, um, seeing that translate into wins. Okay, I'd, I'd just like to say thank you to the supporters who, uh, have stuck with us through thick and thin. It's been a really tough year, we understand that, and none of us are very happy about it. We're, we're not satisfied with the way it's gone, and we're doing everything we can to uh, turn it around. Uh, we know that there's no easy fix. It's, uh, it's all about hard work and, and getting our processes right, and, um, and, and uh, to the players' credit, they've really stuck together, and, and our leadership program has held us in good stead, um, you know, despite the the, the disappointing season that we've had, the players have stuck uh, stuck together really well and, and have made a commitment to do can, to continue to do so. So, um, but thank you very much for your support. And uh, as I said, we'll be trying everything we can to turn it around for you.